let's go over how to disassemble your clarinet using the musicmedic.com repair kit. First, I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna to need to complete this job. We're gonna use our set of screwdrivers and our spring hook. Today, I'm gonna to be using one of our Wilmington clarinets as a demo. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're having trouble removing some of the rods and pivot screws, you can use your pliers that are included in your set. I recommend as soon as you take a key off, that you replace the rod back where it goes. This way you won't mix up your rods. Sometimes you have to use your spring hook to release the spring tension on certain keys. Sometimes you have to take off multiple keys in order to get certain keys off. I'm going to do that with these side keys here. Now that's the top joint. Let's move on to the bottom joint. Now here's a helpful hint. So you don't mix up your keys, try to keep everything separate. So I'm gonna move my top joint keys over to this side.
For keys that are attached with pivot screws, it's best if you loosen both pivot screws before you try to remove the key. If you have a rod or a pivot screw that's a little tough to remove, you can add a little key oil to help free it. And there you have it, a completely disassembled clarinet using only the musicmedic.com repair kit tools. Now, let's go ahead and reassemble our clarinet. A couple things to keep in mind is certain keys are sometimes stacked on top of other keys. You need to make sure you put the bottom key on before you put the top key on. Let's go ahead and start with our C lever. I'm going to use my spring hook to reattach the spring as I'm putting my key back on. Next I'm going to go with my C sharp key. Again, I'm going to use my spring hook to reattach the spring as I put my key back on. Now I'm going to put my B key on. Now that I've reattached my key, I can go ahead and use my spring hook to reattach the spring. Now I'm going to attach my C and E flat keys. Here I'm going to use my pair of pliers to gently pull out this rod. Be careful not to bend or mar the rod when you remove it. My C key goes on first. And then my E flat. Now I'm going to use my spring hook to reattach the springs. Now I'm going to attach my alternate F sharp key. Now I can attach my lower ring keys. The only thing left are my two left hand pinky keys. Now these two keys should go on simultaneously. One goes over top of the other, which makes it difficult to put one in if you already have the other one on. So I'm going to put both of these on at the same time.
there we are, a fully assembled lower joint for a clarinet. Now let's move on to the top joint. Our first key I'm going to start with is the G sharp key. Now I'm going to go with my alternate B flat key. Now I'm going to install my thumb ring. I can now install my F sharp ring. Now I'm going to install my trill keys. Now this is important that you install these together. This is one where a key needs to fit underneath of another key. Once I have my key set in place, I can now insert the rod. I can now reassemble my side B-flat key. I can now install my upper bridge key. I can now install my A key. Now I can install my G sharp key. And finally, my register key. And there you have it, a fully assembled top joint on your clarinet.